Hey, this is Kita once again with Psychopath Exposure. Things that we can do to accelerate our recovery from the trauma that we experience with these monsters. How do we recover from this anxiety disorder that inevitably becomes a part of us? Well, for me, what really helped out immensely was when I found a mentor. I, I reached out and I found someone on the internet through a meetup, through a meetup locally in my city because I thought I was going crazy like many of you guys might be feeling right now. And uh, one day I'll, I'll, maybe in another video, I'll go through those details as well. But long story short, this guy he told me exactly what I was going through. He he finished, he completed my sentences as I was telling him my, my traumas. And he's the one that told me what it was and and that I had been dating a psychopath. And I was like, are you fucking crazy? Are you fucking crazy? And And yet, the more he spoke, the more I knew he was right. So, yeah, he's the one that got me back in shape he's the one that you know he educated me on this told me the books to read told me exactly what to do and i fucking listened i listened because i was just hopeless at the time you're gonna have to find your mentor there's lots of us that are spreading information on youtube right now um, it's very easy to just binge watch these videos on your way to work while you're working, consume as much information as you can because the brain needs validation that what you went through was actually a traumatic, toxic situation with a, a disordered individual that was not what you thought they were. And your friends don't understand. So you need that validation. If you can't find that one mentor that you can actually communicate with, then a good start is here on YouTube. Just subscribe to, to the channels that focus on narcissistic personality disorders and psychopath trauma and, and absorb that information as much as you can. It's definitely going to help. Once your brain realizes what went on and things start making sense the the fog the dark fog that clouded your brain is gonna slowly start to fade so that that's number one and you know number two you 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 really have to figure out how are you gonna go no contact with these monsters because i know i know some of uh our tormentors may be our parents, um, they might be um, not always the person we're dating, but if it is a spouse or an ex-spouse, you know, there's children involved. and there's a, the, it, get, it starts getting a little tricky. But going no contact was the first thing that I had to do. Um, it wasn't hard for me. I mean, I had such a vendetta. I had so much anger that, I mean blocking them and and cutting all sorts of communication was very very easy for me but but i know for some it's not so uh you know i put together an ebook that goes into detail uh so five steps to going no contact with a psychopath narcissist and it goes it goes in depth um it's a very easy read, but it goes in depth as to exactly what you need to do. I mean, we have all sorts of social media and chatting applications now, and and you know, no contact goes beyond uh, a telephone call. I mean, no contact means you can't even see photographs of these people because it it triggers all the darkness once again and sends you right back, sends you right back to what I like to call day zero of your recovery. So. Do check that out. There's a link below in the description box. Just click on that link and you can download uh, the ebook straight to your phone. And read it over and over again. I mean, when I, f 
when I was first going through this, my mentor gave me a book to read, and I read that book every single day on my way to work when I finally was able to go back to work, right? I read it every day on my way back from work, and I would listen to it on on Audible when I'll be in the gym. So, yeah, you, you, you got to... You got to just continue to feed your brain with this information because this is unlike any situation you've ever heard of or experienced. This is some toxic, traumatic shit right here. Um, you've gone all your life thinking that it, there's good people in the world. And then suddenly the person that you trust turns out to be Satan's spawn, right? So, and you know, the third thing really that's going to help you recover from a narcissistic, abusive relationship is to give yourself time, the space to heal. You got to give yourself the space to heal. You know, the no contact is going to help, but you really need to just take time for yourself. You know, for me, I started traveling. Uh, I was grateful that I had the opportunity to travel, but I started traveling. And, and the minute I was on that airplane, and I was looking out the window and seeing those mountains. I remember I went to L.A. and I was, I was like, wow, this is sweet. I was all of a sudden in a different state. I, I wasn't around the same shit that I had been used to. I'm seeing different, different cities, different people. I mean, the air smells different, right? So that gave me, a, that gave me so much mental clarity, that even though I wanted to continue talking about things, even while I was there, I, I wasn't being triggered because I wasn't home. I knew that I wasn't going to run into the psychopath in the middle of the street because they don't live there. So in a way, that that in and of itself subconsciously gave me more confidence. So taking the time out, you know, just taking a time out for yourself to heal makes a huge difference. I mean, most people just want to jump into another relationship right away because they're afraid of being alone. And I know it's scary to be alone during these dark times, but man, sometimes you just attract another narcissist. You attract what you're comfortable with. And even if you attract the healthiest person in the world, you are so fucked up right now from the anxiety and from the PTSD that most likely going to screw up that relationship. You're most likely going to be highly triggered every single moment you're with them. So you got to give yourself time to heal before you can even think about starting a new relationship. Yeah, man, this trauma, this trauma is no joke, guys. This is no joke. I mean, this is this has been going on forever. And we're we're lucky to be in an era in the information age where this information is easily accessible now, right? So there's there's really no excuse. I mean, we're only victims once, guys. Once we know what we're dealing with, if we stay, we're volunteers. I know that's hard to accept right now, but believe me, you're only a victim once. Everything else that we do, we do it to ourselves. I mean, once you know where you... Once you know what's going on, once you know what's going on, I mean, the only reason that we that we stayed so long in a situation is because we didn't know what it was. But once we know what's going on and we fully understand that it's never going to get better, if we stay, now we're talking about our issues. Now we're talking about fear. Now we're talking about the inability to act. And yeah, it's it's not our fault that we're in there and we've been poisoned with all these maladies that and all these chains that have that bind us to the psychopath. But once we know what's going on, we ha it's our responsibility to do something. It's our responsibility to stand up and take action. I know it's not easy, but God 
I wish someone would have opened my eyes to who I was dating months prior. Months prior. And yet, most likely, you know what? You know how it rolls. You know how it goes. We we don't believe the past victim that all of a sudden shows up and tries to warn us, right? We don't believe him. And the psychopath makes sure that she tells us about that crazy ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend that's going to come around. So, you know, that probably wouldn't have worked anyway. But that's reality, guys. This is some real shit. Narcissistic, traumatic abuse, psychological abuse, psychopathy. This is real. This ain't no joke. You don't want to mess around with this. Um, definitely share your experiences below. There's many people that that are afraid to reach out. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so we can grow, continue to pass around the information, and help others like us. We're building an anti-narcissist army here. We're exposing these psychopaths to the world. We're in this together. This is our safe haven. Drop a comment below with your experiences. Any questions you'd like to have me answer. And definitely leave a like on the video before you go. And I uh, hope you guys have a great night. I'm going to come back at you with more of these late night videos really soon. Got a lot to cover, guys. We got a lot to cover. Once again, this is Kita. Thanks for listening. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great night, y'all.